One of the gentlemen that was at the Toyota Country Lights Festival last Friday at Nice Stadium, Craig Campbell. That is Keep Them Kisses Coming at 98.1 The Hawk, The Hawk Morning Show, Glenn and Tracy. Everybody is talking about this epic wedding proposal that happened at Toyota Country Lights Festival. And you can see it for yourself at 981thehawk.com. And Amber was the one that got engaged at the show, and she's on the phone with us now. Good morning, Amber. I really just wanted to call in and say thank you for everything that everybody did Friday for Matt and I. Well, obviously, you had no idea what was going on. Did you think that it was weird that Craig Campbell called you and Matt up on stage to have a beer? The thought crossed my mind, but I had no idea. And the way they put it to me, they were like, oh, hey, you know, he always he always invites people up on on the stage to have a beer, so I just I just thought it was an awesome surprise, and I kind of thought that that was just a surprise. Little did I know. <laughs> <laughs> now, at the point where Craig says, hold on, Matt has something to say, what happened? Did your knees turn to jelly? Did you know what was going to happen? <laughs> they totally turned to jelly, and the thought went through my head, and I can't tell you exactly what I said, but the thought went through my head. I was like, oh my gosh, this is happening. <laughs> How long have you guys been together? About three years. Any idea whatsoever? Like, had you guys talk marriage? Did you been ring shot? Shopping. No, we never went ring shopping. Um, I always wanted it to be something he picked out. I it was it was super special to me that it was something he picked out and it was what he wanted for me. And we've always talked about marriage. Like I know it sounds super cliche, but we were totally those people that knew when we started mm-hmm. hanging out. <laughs> can't even imagine what your wedding's going to be like. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. We're thinking uh, probably October of next year. We we definitely want a fall wedding, and this fall would be very chaotic trying yeah. to plan for this fall. Yeah. <laughs> we are so happy for you. Can you believe the words that Matt said? Can you believe that he stood? Do you know how many thousands of people were there? Right, and that's what I said. And I asked Matt afterwards, I was like, are you nervous? Were you nervous? He said he was nervous up to that point, which now that I think about it, all of last week, he really didn't eat a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and then he said when he got up there, he he it just went away. And I think it was the adrenaline, maybe. <laughs> there were almost 10,000 people, Amber. 10,000 people. People oh who watched Matt propose to you, and that's not even including all the people <laughs> who are seeing it on Twitter and on Facebook and at nonatwinthehog.com. When somebody proposes to you, you're kind of caught in that moment and you don't really see what's going on around you. Right. You're kind of in your own little vortex. I just want to let you know, there were grown men, Amber, grown men who were crying. No way. There were grown men who were crying. Women were crying. People were cheering. People were screaming. People were hugging each other. People have been talking about it ever since Friday. I think the line that struck everyone was when Matt said to you, I wanted a crowd of people cheering for us so that you would know how you make me feel every day. And that oh, was just... Me oh, my goodness. It. <laughs> it's incredible. And, and you've got this video and these photos for the rest of your life. And it's amazing. And we are so glad that you were able to be part of the first ever Toyota Country Lights Festival and that you uh, allowed us to be part of such an intimate and special moment in your life. Thank you. And I'm just so thankful. I'm so thankful for everybody at the Hog. I just, my my thank you will never describe to you guys how much I appreciate it and how much it means to me. So thank you.